of the day is Best Invest. Now, Best Invest have been around since 1986, but they've only just introduced their first investment app. So we're going to take this opportunity to talk about Best Invest and what they do differently to all the other providers out there. Now, Best Invest, traditional stockbroker, you can buy UK shares and funds online or over the phone. Unfortunately, you can't buy US or international shares individually at the moment, but this will come. But you can get exposure to those markets through the funds and ETFs that they offer. Uh, now, there's two things that Best Invest do differently and that we quite like about them at the moment. And that is they are really driving down the cost of investing in passive ready-made portfolios. If you do invest in other products, though, the charge is a little higher. They start at 0.4%, which is uh, lower than Hargreaves Lansdowne, but higher uh, than AJ Bell. But the, the, the catch is there's no cap on those fees. Uh, the other thing they do differently is unlike other traditional stockbrokers or online apps or, or platforms where you've just really you're just left to get on with it best invest will engage with you and they will talk to you so if you need investment advice or you or you want some help with what to add to your portfolio if you're just getting started you can book a call with one of their uh, coaches and they and they will talk you through it we'll, we'll, we'll go into that a bit later but for this demonstration we're first going to demonstrate buying one of their smart portfolios on uh, the desktop version and then we're going to buy it on the app so that you can see the functionality of the two and then I'll show you the different uh, advice packages that they offer. So let's start by looking at their smart portfolios. You have the investment search page here where you can choose to invest in, in various asset classes. For example here they have the best funds list which is what they view as their conviction by funds. Um, the latest report's just out and you can see which funds they've added to them and which funds uh, they've kicked out. In conjunction with that, actually, it's also worth reading the Spot the Dog fund list. That's a, a, a list of funds that are underperforming the market. So if you're holding one of those funds, uh, it's worth taking, a, worth taking a second look at them. But for this, we're going to look at these, which are the smart, ready-made portfolios. Um, much the same as all the other robo-advisors. They're, they're funds that contain a, a, a diverse range of ETFs that cover stocks and uh, and bonds with varying degrees of risks. You can see here, for example, you've got the, the maximum growth fund, which has an ongoing charge of 0.32%. You have a balanced one, a cautious one, and an adventurous one, and a, 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 growth, a growth fund. But for this, we're going to take a look at the um, Evelyn Smart Maximum Growth Fund. First of all, we'll take a little look at what's in it. What is also very interesting is that you can have a look at the portfolio. Obviously, because it's a maximum growth portfolio, it's heavily geared towards equity. So the more growth you want out of a fund, the more exposure you need to equities. If, if you want lower risk, they will reduce that ratio of shares um, and, and go towards cash uh, and, and, and bond investments. Uh, you can see here what the top 10 holdings within uh, th this fund are. It's, uh, as I said, it's a, a, a broad collection of ETFs and funds in it. But if you want to know what's in those funds, you can just do a quick Google search, go to Morningstar, for example, click on portfolio and then that will show you uh, an asset allocation breakdown as well as if we scroll down a bit it will show you what funds are in that portfolio so if you're an ethical investor or or you really want to have complete control over what's in your portfolio you can do a bit more digging but if you just want a really cheap fund with uh, um, with diverse exposure um, you can just click invest as we will do here. It's, it's a relatively simple platform. Uh, we're going to invest in an investment account. They do uh, stocks and shares, ISAs, junior ISAs, if you want to invest for your children. And if you want to save for your retirement and invest for your retirement, they do uh, uh, SIP self-invested personal pensions. Uh, we're only going to drop a monkey in here, so we'll just buy 500. And we're going to buy it as an accumulation, which means that any income derived from the fund, from dividends, or interest payments get put back into your account and added to your um, portfolio. Uh, you can either invest generally as a, an accumulation or income. Income means that uh, when a, a fund pays dividends or, or coupons, uh, you will receive that. So there we go. If I'm completely honest, the website is a little bit clunky. It's a bit like shopping online. When you when you buy a fund, it goes into your basket. You don't trade straight away. And then you have to click on my account, click on your basket 
it then shows you which funds oh there's one that uh, we bought earlier let's just get rid of that uh, you then have to look in your basket and then review your funds do the deal so there you go Dell I'll show you the app in a minute but whilst we're on the website I'm just going to show you the advice options that are available to you. Uh, the, the first one is free advice. You can get a free 45 minute session with someone by way of an introduction to Best Invest and what they offer. You can book a session with one of their Best Invest coaches. Now, coaching is different from financial advice. Coaching is basically what Best Invest does, how they do it, what might be appropriate for you. If you want actual advice, you have to go here. And these are the two advice packages they have. One is all about investing for your goals and it's which products and portfolios within the Best Invest platform might be appropriate for you. And the other one, if you already have a portfolio, they'll do a portfolio check. Now, a portfolio check basically means they will look at your portfolio and suggest where improvements can be made. They will suggest which uh, investments you have in your portfolio are potentially under, underperforming the market and they can actually suggest things that you should invest in instead. They will make these suggestions and of course the decisions are up to you in the end. You have to pay for it and whether or not you decide to act on their advice is entirely up to you. The app really, it, it's, um, it's very much a replication of the website but it does mean you can keep an eye on your portfolio and, and invest on the go without having to be in front of a computer it gives you all the sort of usual things you need to know one of the things actually that's quite interesting about uh, best invest is they have these life goal plans so you can set a goal for an amount you need in a future be it for retirement buying a house a wedding and they work out your potential future performance based on what's actually in your account versus just the overall market so you get a slightly truer representation of uh, of where your um, where your investments may go so to find the funds or shares you want to invest in in this case we're looking for those smart portfolios you have to search for it it's not immediately obvious where it is which is a bit of a shame but you know hopefully that will improve in the future so we're just going to filter this by uh, Evelyn partner funds there we go let's filter that and you can see the smart maximum growth uh, portfolio that we invested in earlier let's choose a different one so you can just see the allocation so let's look at this um evelyn smart cautious portfolio for example let's have a look at the fact sheet uh, you can see the various charges the price of the funds the ongoing charge there you go it's 0.33 percent again uh, best invest of course give their view on the fund and let's just take a look what's in it so you can see because it's a slightly more cautious fund it's 40 percent in 42 percent invested in equities and 50 percent invested in bonds uh, so, so you won't get as much capital depreciation but you should get a, a, a larger amount of income from it again you can see the um uh, you can see the holdings within that. It's a mixture of cash and uh, bond funds. And if we want to buy that, invest now. And then that takes us back to the app. We're going to invest in our investment account. We'll invest again for accumulation. And we'll put our remaining 500 in there. Scroll up. Click continue. It's not the most fluid app, if I'm completely honest. Again, you have to go to my account. That will take you back to the app. And then you have to look in your orders. There's the funds. And then press continue. T's and C's. So there you go. Funds have been purchased. So there you go. Two things that uh, Best Invest do different from all the other platforms out there. They have a very cheap range of ready-made portfolios that are based on low-cost ETFs. And if you want advice from someone who knows what they're talking about rather than some wally wittering on on social media, you can book an appointment with one of their consultants, either get some coaching or pay for some actual financial advice as to what would be the most appropriate investments for your portfolio. Thanks for watching.